The world has many problems. Some of them can be solved using math. The problem is that we think with words, but math deals with mathematical expressions. In order to solve the problems, we have to translate them into mathematical expressions. But how we do that? By learning the correspondence between math expressions and language. Let's see some examples. Addition. What addition really means is putting stuff together. We have here three substances, salt, first glass of colored water, and second glass of colored water. Just mix them all up, doesn't matter the order. That's addition. The same if we have three piles of chickpea seeds. Mix them all up, add them and make a big pile of chickpea. That's addition. In real world problems, when we want to specify addition, we can say add plus the sum of addition more than added to total of. Let's see subtraction now. If we have a big pile of chickpea and we take out some of them, that's subtraction. Or from a group of five laundry tongs, we take out two. You know that it's about subtraction when you hear less than, minus, fewer than, discarded, take out, difference of, or decreased by. Let's see multiplication now. I have one pack of biscuits, two, three packs of biscuits. How many biscuits are in one pack? One, two, three, four. How many biscuits I have in total? Three times four. You know that it's about multiplication when you see or hear product of times multiplied by double or twice meaning times two triple meaning times three. Let's see now how division is specified in problems. Division means splitting or cutting something in equal parts. Cut this apple in half. We have two parts. Another time in half, we have four equal parts. Wherever you see or hear divided by, quotient of, shared equally, split between, half, that means divided by two, everything means division.